And all I've done is uh, ground that weld away. And then I ground off, there was a little hump right there, which is what throw that in an angle right there. So I ground that little hump off, and it'll be a more straight pull. But it did pull away the, the, the key. It did not pull the weld did not fail. It, it was the metal that the keys made out of that failed. Regardless, that key is in there really, really, really tight. So what I'm going to do is weld her back on and do it again. Okay, I believe we got it welded back on there, so let's uh, let's reassemble. I believe we got a little movement. I believe we got a little movement that time. Let's see. We've got uh, we've got about a quarter more inch of threads right there. And I can uh, see the socket here that it is, it's turning, the, the, it's coming out. Okay. I think we've probably run out of threads right here, so let's check it again. Oh, yeah, we're getting movement on her now. All right. And when I was sawing them, when I was sawing these off, I did saw off several of them in, in, Half-inch, half-inch intermentals, uh, and that ain't gonna be enough. Well, if we put this back up here, we'll gain another half-inch. Okay, let's turn that, let's turn the impact up to a little higher pressure. I had it on low pressure there because I just didn't want to break that bolt off immediately. But once you get movement, you can turn it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have to go the right way.
we've maxed out on our we've maxed out on our bolt right there with with this lens. But as you can see, the gib key is uh, let's get a punch. Let's just get the gib key puller. This is this is the gib key puller. You remember we've used that before. I will say that, that that key was in there entirely, entirely too tight. Another one. That key looks really good. There's no, it's just rust on this end down here. But it uh, looks pretty decent. Now we got to get the other side out. This is just one side. Let's turn around and get that other side out. Now that we got the keys loose, we got to get it loose from the. Uh, and there is, a, there is a, a, a kind of, it's not easy, but you can use a jarring motion and kind of to help to break that flywheel loose right there, you can, you can insert a piece of wood in the, in, the, in the back right there. And when that crankshaft comes around there, it, you'll have a jarring motion. And just with that amount right there, I don't see much movement. Let's. Uh, uh, nothing. We'll have, we'll have to put the wheel puller on this one right here and pull that one off. But we'll have to clean up that shaft first. <laughs> 